Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at something I came across on the internet uh, in the laser cutter graver. So I came across this stuff by Fuseworks, which is this craft glass. It's sort of like shrinky dinks on steroids. And um, I got curious, so I picked myself up. I ordered uh, a pack of this stuff. It wasn't too expensive, I think around... Uh, five dollars and what this is is it's a it's a glass that you're supposed to be able to heat up in a microwave kiln and um, make different types of jewelry jewelry objects so one of the things I thought about is uh, and this is actually rather thick uh, glass it's, it's a little bit thicker than I had anticipated um, so let's see Let's see how thick this is. So this is, uh, I think you can see that there. So it's around 3.39 millimeters. I might as well say 3.4 millimeters thick. And then a sheet of this um, is, let's see, uh, about uh, 44.6 by... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, let's see if I get the jaws in there lined up. So by about 22, roughly. So, so that's how big these these sheets are. Um, it's actually kind of an interesting feeling glass. Now, apparently, there's different types of, the gla of these glasses with different coefficients or COEs, coefficient of expansion or something like that. I understand that they expand at different rates, and we have different colors you know um, for example these two are are translucent where these where this yellow and this red seems to be opaque now what I'm interested in doing and where I'm kind of going with all this is the laser cutter so I'm thinking all right if a microwave in this kiln can melt this what about being able to take a roughly 40 watt laser and be able to cut pieces out of this? So that's kind of what I want to shoot for here is to see how that works now. I, you know, we, we know we can etch glass with it. However, I'm really wondering if we can actually cut this glass. Now, it does feel like glass. It does sound like glass. I because it is glass. I'm just wondering if there's something different about this glass that makes it melt at a little bit lower temperature because I'll put a picture of the kiln up in the corner. In short, what this kiln is, is um, uh, this fibrous material and it has this uh, core in it which is heated by the microwave and the core gets up to, as I understand it, about 12 to 1600 degrees. And when it gets that warm, obviously, it, it begins to melt the glass and then creates a sh sort of shrinky dink effect or melting all this together into sort of a hodgepodge. So my piece is, I, I believe I can get the laser uh, that hot, you know, at that little dot, you know, 0.2 millimeter dot to actually cut this out. Well, that's what I want to see because the thing I'm thinking is if I get this to cut out, that's going to be pretty interesting. So anyways, I think I rambled enough. You get the idea. So I tell you what, um, let's head over the laser. Now, I'm also going to, as I do this, I'm going to set up the infrared camera. It, it measures light above 960 nanometers. The laser operates at 1064 nanometers. So I want to be able to see any type of reflection or how or maybe get a better idea how uh, the light is being absorbed by this material. Uh, so anyways, let's head over there and see what we got. Okay, we're back at the laser, so we have the material mounted up now. Before we get going, though, a little bit of a safety tip. I'm going to have the, the cover of this open so I can video it. Uh, I'm not going to be around it. As you can maybe see down here, I've got a video camera or a small web camera set up to watch it. So I'll be watching it remotely away from uh, the printer. I'll also have my safety goggles on, the appropriate safety goggles for this machine. And uh, so anyways, I can watch it and control it remotely. So that's what I'm going to do. So I do not suggest doing this with the lid open. Um, the glass can be reflective. 
and uh, again you can't you know obviously see the the infrared reflection so again safety glasses stay away from it if you're going to try this run it and uh, etc okay so enough of that said let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and cut this now i'm going to run this at full power i'm going to push about 22 milliamps through the tube uh, i'm going to overdrive it i just want to see what happens uh, it should make about 14 passes i've got the uh the corner marked here uh, with with the marking laser and uh, I've got it held down with neodymium magnets. I've got it at the focal point. So let's go ahead and try cutting some glass and see what happens. Okay, welcome back. So, uh, as we just saw in the video, it uh, shattered the glass, or not really shattered it, but split the glass. I want to get a temperature reading here. It's not reading that the glass is too warm, and it's not. Um, definitely, it, it etched the glass, but it did not really cut the glass, if you can kind of see. so. I'm not sure how many passes, but it did thermally fracture the glass, which is a wee bit interesting. So um, that is definitely interesting. So um, don't know if it would actually. It did a very good job at um, etching it, and the glass is melted. But it did, I don't know if it would actually cut it. I mean, I can't remember how many passes. I'll have to go back and take a look at the video. But, um, you know, that's like just a couple thousandths of an inch. It's, it's cut into it with the marking at full power. But it did, did like I say, melt this. So uh, I don't know what to think. I think what I'm going to do is give this a couple more tries. I think, if anything, you could easily use this to draw a pattern out on and, um, you know, to fill in the pattern with your other sparkly or colors. I'm not sure really to cut it. I was actually hoping to get to cut it. So I'm going to try a few more experiments and we'll follow this up in another video. So, uh, hey, if you find this interesting, give it a thumbs up below. Let me know in the comments if you're interested in, in um, uh, more of this. I am going to try a couple more experiments and post at least another video on what happens when we, um, you, you know, maybe try some other stuff with this. So, anyways, hey, like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.